If you're considering getting into RVing, one important question you're likely asking yourself is, can I bring my dog with me? And how will this work? I'm Matt, and my dogs Bell and Hudson have been living the RV life for a couple years. Today, we're gonna to share some important considerations when taking your pup along on your adventure in your RV. Stay tuned until the end, and Hudson will share what he believes is the most critical tip for bringing your furry friend with you on your next camping trip. The first thing to consider is whether or not your dog is okay traveling in a vehicle. If your dog has never traveled in a vehicle, bring him on some test drives before your next big adventure. You'll quickly see if your dog is comfortable in a vehicle. If they're showing signs of anxiety, talk to your vet. There are some options that exist that will help your pet stay calm and relieve some of their anxiety while they're in the vehicle. Almost every campground will be generally okay with having dogs join you. However, check the fine print and ask the question before you book. Some campgrounds have restrictions around which dog breeds are allowed. And at minimum, most campgrounds will say somewhere in their rules that aggressive dogs are not allowed. At most campgrounds, you're very close to your neighbors. If your dog doesn't get along with people or other dogs, this might lead to a very stressful camping experience. Campgrounds will also have rules about keeping your dog on a leash at all times, including limiting the length of the leash. The rules will also typically state that you can't leave your dog on a line and unattended at your site. They're called man's best friend for a reason. And like any good friend, you wanna make sure your pal is comfortable. Even in a small trailer like mine, You'll want to make sure you consider where the dog is going to sleep. Is there a spot for a dog bed in a small corner of the trailer? Will you let them sleep on the bed with you? Maybe your dog prefers to sleep on a cool floor. You'll be surprised just how happy your dog will be hanging out in the trailer as long as you're there to keep them company. But if you want to make sure your dog is super comfortable, consider bringing along one of their favorite toys. If you're short on space, you can keep it stored away and pull it out when it's playtime. They will be no doubt excited to see it. You can also consider bringing along a blanket or something else that has a familiar home smell on it. It might sound excessive, but they are part of the family after all. And that takes me to my next point. And this one is critical. Do not leave your dog in a hot trailer. Just like in a vehicle, the inside of a trailer can become extremely hot. If you need to leave your dog at the campsite while you're going on adventures, make sure that your AC is working and set to the right temperature. Also, don't forget to leave your dog with some water so they can stay hydrated. In many cases, you'll want to bring your friend along with you on your adventures and no doubt they'll be excited to join you. But there's a few things to consider ahead of time. Most importantly, is the place you're going to dog friendly? Do some research online ahead of time. Most major attractions will have information on their website about their dog policy. If you can't find anything online, give the place a call. If you're going to a restaurant, we've found that many restaurants are willing to allow dogs on their patios as long as your dog is friendly and well-behaved. In fact, restaurants we've ate at even have offered to bring water out for our dogs. If you're headed to a public beach, remember that most beaches are not dog friendly. But if you're lucky, at the very end of the beach, there'll be a dog friendly zone. Wherever you're bringing your dog, don't forget their leash, their harness, and waste bags. Don't be one of those people pick up after your dog. If you're leaving your area of the state, province, or country, do some research to determine if there's any specific canine health concerns in the area you're visiting. For example, some areas have heavy tick populations. If you're going to an area like this, you can speak with your vet ahead of time 
to get some preventative medications. Don't forget the dog food. Leaving their home can create some unexpected anxiety for your dog, so you want to try to keep everything as familiar as possible. This means bringing along the same food and treats that they would typically eat at home. And stick to the same feeding schedule that they're on at home. This will help avoid unexpected upset stomachs and sleepless nights. Some dogs will take every opportunity to go exploring on their own. I know you won't let them do this intentionally, but accidents do happen, and you might accidentally leave the RV door open for just a few seconds. If your pooch is a runner, consider attaching an air tag to their collar. This will make it that much easier to track them down if they do run off. The other thing that we've found useful is putting a Wi-Fi camera in the trailer. When we do have the internet at a campsite, we set up this camera and it allows us to watch Hudson while we're out adventuring. It's not necessary, but it does give us peace of mind to see him resting comfortably. For the last tip, I'm deferring to Hudson. He says that the most important thing to him when he's on an RV adventure is walks and consistency. He loves when we take him on regular walks throughout the park, and he likes it even better when we're consistent with his routine, including walking times, meal times, sleep times, and play times. This keeps him happy and comfortable. I hope this video helped you plan for your next RV trip with your pup. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment. Hudson and I will be happy to try to answer them the best way we can. And if you'd like more tips like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hudson, are you enjoying the trip to Key West? Are you seeing all the sights? Of course she's happy, eh? mm -hmm. She likes it here. I think she likes the combination of the sun and uh, the water. It's just the right temperature for her. It's everything she wants. Yeah. And she got good food today, so that's all that matters for her. <laughs> Her tail's still waking. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.